we're going to the very first place that started our relationship. So that's true. It literally is. Like that's the crazy part. You've got to meet this girl from China. It's about love and it's about God's love for each of us. I've probably cried like five times. When you step off that airport in Charlotte and it says number one attraction in the state, it really is. You may know what we're naming our first boy, but we'll see. North Carolina, we have arrived. Guys, this is somewhere that we have both wanted to go since we met. And there's kind of a cool backstory to our romance, where we're going. It's where we started our relationship, but we've never visited. So virtually, guys. What could that place be? <laughs> Let's go. We're going to the Billy Graham Museum. I'm so excited. I've never been before. Two police cars just pulled in the Billy Graham Museum, so action is about to happen. This place is beautiful. I think I'm rolling up to a presidential library, and yeah. I guess this is going to be cooler than that. And we will tell you how this was one of the keys to our romance and how we met. For me at the Billy Graham Museum, I just got like really nervous. I don't know why. It's funny because we visited a bunch of presidential libraries, but like, Obviously, you know, there are presidents. We're just going to learn education and all of their libraries and museums are open to the public. This is private property. So I just feel like it's more like, wow, we're going to a place that's so cool versus like the president's place are cool, but like, eh, not as cool as Billy Graham. So I'm like. <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, this is their house, and he was saying that it was located somewhere else, but the people who moved their house built it brick by brick back, which is Pretty incredible. Fast, yeah. Like, I've never heard of that. I've heard them, like, lifting houses, but never, like, tearing it down and then building it back up. Guys, you feel like you're walking through Biltmore Gardens right here. They keep this place up magically. So right here, Graham Home Place, it's rebuilt brick by brick. Right behind us, built by Billy's father, William. Good name, William Franklin Graham in the 20s, just a few miles east of this site. This is the first time in my <laughs> entire life I ever knew that Billy Graham was William Graham. I have no idea. Just like I didn't know that um, the people who crossed with uh, William Clark, Lewis like, and Clark. Like, like Lewis and Clark, I did not know one of them name was William. You guys, okay, you may know what we're naming our first boy, but we'll see. It's just the cutest house. Can you imagine being so influential people and like excited to look inside your house? Like, I'm so excited. We're barely through the first home place part of the tour, and it is already blowing my mind. You just think about someone who lived their life so dedicated to fate in making a difference in people's lives and the impact he had not on just America, but globally. For Jesus, it's a really powerful and inspiring. And I really love that when you have something like this, it's memorialized forever for future generations to come and just check out and be inspired by. And it all points to, of course, not Billy, but to Jesus Christ.
and guess what? One day, every so living thing said in the town will praise the Lord. We're back in the rain, guys. The cross is the symbol of Christianity. Why? Jesus Christ died upon the cross for our sins. Okay, you guys, the last one was so cute. He was saying that when he went to Wheaton College, all of them were saying, oh, you've got to meet this girl from China. And the leader was like, okay, maybe. So it was funny that a boy this from the Smoky the Mountains and a girl from China sounds familiar. You know, in God's sight, you are beautiful. And, in, and everyone is <laughs> because, uh, because God loves all of us. And he has the hands of our head numbered. He sees the sparrow fall. He's interested in every detail of your life. He made you like you are. He made you Woody Allen, and he expects you to live up uh, to a standard that he has made. And if you don't live up to it, then the Bible says you're falling short, and that's where you need God's help for redemption. I guess I'm just troubled by the fact that, that we have to put the seed of sin in a little baby. Why don't we relax and just walk well, just on? And I'm, what I'm, I'm telling you what the Bible teaches, not what I teach. You know, I, I understand. But you have to come by faith, uh, Phil. Uh, you, you'll never be able to reason it out. If you try to reason it out, you're son. Uh, really? Yes. You agree? Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Phil, what you're trying to do and what we're trying to do is to develop a God like ourselves. We, we do not want the revelation of God. We do not want God to say, I'm a God of judgment. I will judge you and uh, so forth. We don't want that. We want to make God in our image so that we become guilty of idolatry, which is the worst of all sin. My basic message has not changed. The message of the fact that uh, the Bible is the authoritative word of God, the fact that Jesus Christ was virgin born, the fact that Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross, the fact that Jesus Christ rose from the dead, the fact that he's coming again, and the fact that you need to repent and receive him as your savior, that hasn't changed. Billy Sunday to um, Mordecai Ham and then Mordecai Ham to Billy Graham and it's just amazing like the faithful testimony how it's all linked together and you'll never know like it says right here only time will eventually reveal the powerful witness of this faithful Christian it's like how when you are faithful to God and you are a witness and your character and how you behave and your what you present to others how it impacts just a whole generation of people. You see, the losing this life, the misery, the unhappiness that eventually comes only in the empty life without God. Because you were made for God, and without God, there's no permanent happiness and no permanent pleasure. for this extraordinary life, Billy Graham, an ambassador for Christ who reminded the world of the power of prayer and the gift of God's grace.
Thank you for stopping by for a visit. I'm certainly delighted to have you here. We just made it through the journey almost of all of the library, the journey of faith. We're gonna go to see their landmarks after, but we had to stop in and get us some food. They made it fresh right here. So far, this has been a 25 out of a 10. It has been an amazing trip. So much American history, so much global mission work that was done, and just a fascinating story of a life totally dedicated to ministry and faith. One of the quotes that stuck with me, Billy would always say, people don't come to hear me, they come to hear the Word of God. And I think that's so true when you're sharing, it's not about you, it's about truth, it's about love, and it's about God's love for each of us individually. So fun, I'm so excited to be here. I've probably cried like five times. I think it's that sensitivity of the Holy Spirit that you have whenever you're in an environment that's just really saturated in God's Word. And it's obviously such a blessed place. So many faith leaders have walked through here. The Lord's just blessing this place. But I'm excited to eat and everyone should definitely add it on their list as well as the Ark and the Creation Museum. So South has a lot of wonderful places to come, learn about God. It's great resources for everybody. Tiff got the grilled chicken. I got the chicken salad made fresh right here in their restaurant. Make sure you dip in the restaurant too. Heading out after about three hours here at the museum and I cannot recommend this stop more. When you step off that airport in Charlotte and it says number one attraction in the state, it really is. And there's so much like history here that just really makes you think about life, the value of a soul and about faith. You're gonna love it. Check it out, the Billy Graham Library. Yes, it's a must see. Alrighty friends, it's your boy Lawson. If you're here wondering, what in the world did all that have to do with Lawson and Tiffany's romance? I'll tell you the story. Tiffany had done an interview with the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association and a friend of mine posted the article. I read it and that's how I first heard about her. It talked about being bold in your faith, even in the spotlight in places that may not look on it as a positive light. And she did a phenomenal job. The article was just very well done. I reached out to her. We started talking about mission work. She had been on a trip to the DR. I'd been to the Dominican Republic as well doing medical charity. And that started our relationship. Here we are married. It's crazy how it all flies by. But the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association is really the first step in our romance story. So we hope you enjoyed our time visiting North Carolina, checking it all out. And if you're in that area, I promise you, you are gonna love it. Dip in and have a blast. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.